Nope. 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 Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game spiders. For this list, we'll be looking at spiders that originate in video games, both friends and foes. And of course, to keep it fair, we're only allowing one spider per franchise. Now you will see what I am capable of. Number 10, The Duke's Dear Freya, Dark Souls 2. Brightstone Cove Teldora used to be a peaceful mining town until it was overrun with large spiders. It sounds strange until you find out that the town's founder, Duke Zeldora, had an affinity for the creepy crawlies. The Duke's secret is his dear Freya. It's a massive two-headed spider with long legs and a hard weapon-resistant shell. The player must target its two heads while avoiding its venom and spiderlings. Luckily, Freya moves pretty slowly, so with some determination, you can put down the Duke's favorite pet for good. Hey, where's his license for this thing anyway? Number 9, Arachne, Smite. Imagine being so good at something that a god curses you out of jealousy. According to Greek mythology, after Arachne bested Athena in a weaving contest, she turns her into a spider. Where's Kratos when you need him, am I right? Luckily for her, at least in the game, this newfound form gives Arachne some unique powers. She has a variety of melee attacks and can use her webbing to trap foes on the battlefield. Those extra legs also allow Arachne to cover ground very quickly, which can prove to be critical in this fast-paced third-person MOBA. Sometimes your curse can become your greatest gift. Triple kill! Quadra kill! Number 8, Muffet, Undertale. can fight her. Muffet isn't a bad person, uh, spider monster. Muffet runs a bake sale to raise money to help the spiders trapped in the ruins. Throughout the game, players will find webs holding baked goods and can leave money in exchange for the sweets. To the beat of a catchy song, Muffet will have you dodging tiny spiders and her favorite, uh, pet. If the fight persists long enough, Muffet receives a telegram from the spiders in the ruins. She will realize that the player doesn't want to hurt spiders and will let you go though you can still kill her if you want. Number 7, Squitter the Spider, Donkey Kong Country Series. Straight out of the 90s is this sneaker-wearing spider with a kooky grin. Squitter is an animal helper who first appeared in Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Squitter's abilities make him one of the best allies in the game. His webs can not only defeat enemies, but they can create platforms for him, and thus you, to jump on. His only drawback is that he can't jump on foes like the Kongs, though it doesn't slow him down all that much. It feels good to have a big hairy tarantula on your side for once, even if it means getting stuck in that damn Webwoods level. Number 6, Cydia, the Maiden of Lust, Diablo 3. Oh yes, I've been looking forward to this. Who would have thought that the word spider could be kind of synonymous with sexy? Diablo 3's Maiden of Lust rightfully earns that name as she taunts her enemies with provocative words and a sultry tone. I will take great pleasure in your secret. The player's first encounter with her is rather short, but once she drops to 50% health, she'll flee until the player gets to the central room of the Heart of the Cursed. This time, Sidio will go all out with melee strikes, poison attacks, and hordes of spiderlings. She'll spray webbing and try to keep her distance, but if you can close the gap, this temptress will be toppled in no time. Number 5, Nurse Scylla, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Squishing this arachnid is no easy task. The Nursilla can trap you in its web, and the battle that ensues usually takes place above or below a large web itself. This spider attacks by spraying gooey blobs of webbing and then clamping its large mandibles together once its prey is trapped. The Nursilla also has hooks at the ends of its legs that can help it cling to walls and other surfaces. On top of all that, this monster can also poison hunters or put them to sleep. 
So, it's best to stock up on items and bring a few friends when you're trying to crush this poisonous pest. <laughs> Number four, Trite. Doom 3. When the portal to hell opens up, what do you expect to pour out? Demons? Zombies? Nope, even worse, spiders. The Trite is a great example of an enemy that, alone, is a mild annoyance and relatively frail, but in a group, they can overwhelm you quickly. Trites bite, lunge, and when they are desperate, can even explode, sending harmful green fluid at the player. But that's not why they score so well on this list. Come on, just look at it. The upside down face as the head? Ugh, good luck sleeping tonight. Number 3, Sculptulas, The Legend of Zelda series. One of the very first enemies you encounter in Ocarina of Time is the Big Skulltula. These simple enemies have a skull-shaped abdomen that is resistant to attacks from the front. This, in turn, teaches players early on that some enemies have specific weak points to look out for. Once they reveal their soft underbellies, then it's time to strike. There are also feebler, regular Skulltulas, and, of course, the gold variety. As many players know, in Ocarina of Time, Link must collect the medals that the gold Skulltulas leave behind to save the Cursed Family in Kakariko Village. <laughs> Number 2. Black Tiger – Resident Evil This bad guy may just have originated the phrase, KILL IT WITH FIRE! Mutated by the T-Virus, black tigers grow literally to the size of a tiger. After nearly getting crushed by a boulder, either Jill or Chris stumbles upon the lair of this beastly bug. That's a pretty fast way for your day to go from bad to worse. It'll attack you from the front while its babies drop venom from the ceiling. Luckily, it doesn't take too many hits to kill Mama and her young. I guess sometimes science only makes things worse. Before we crawl our way to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions. The Spider, Limbo. There are many chilling moments in Limbo, but one of the most memorable has to be the spider. The developers truly succeeded in making the player feel like a fly struggling against, well, the spider. This boss takes quite a few scenes to beat. Its legs are all spear shaped, and they will skewer you if you give them the chance. First, you trick it into stepping on a bear trap. Next, the spider will wrap you up. Then, you can escape its lair and drop a boulder onto it. Finally, after several encounters, you pull off its last leg and roll it onto the spikes. Now, that is a satisfying squish. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite video game spider? Well, you don't strike me as the negotiating type, so out of personal respects, I'll just get right to the ass kick. For more informative top 10s spun every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I eat you now.